Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to post Telegram video on YouTube. Suppose I want that whenever I will share a new video on my Telegram group, automatically the same video should be uploaded on my YouTube channel. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate both these applications and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software Pabli Connect. Now here we have Telegram in our trigger and YouTube in our action. So we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process and to learn this entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen in this video we are going to learn that how can we automatically upload telegram video on our youtube channel so we are going to learn this automation step by step by setting up a simple integration between telegram and youtube and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software pabli connect so this is the home page of pabli connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this url in our browser once we will reach on this home page we can find two options over here sign in and sign up for free if you are an existing user you can directly click on sign in but if you are a new user you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now as an existing user i'm directly clicking on sign in and this is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by pabli to create this automation we are going to use pabli connect so let's click on access now and it has taken us towards the dashboard of pabli connect so on this dashboard we can find all of our workflows and we can also save our workflows here by creating multiple folders. As you can find, I have two folders over here. In this test integrations folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner, by creating multiple folders, you can save your workflows here on the dashboard accordingly. Now, to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Post Telegram video on YouTube. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save a workflow. So from the drop down, I am going to select this test integrations folder and now we'll click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two concepts or the two principles on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and will start it and the actions are going to follow that same command. Now let's suppose here in our trigger we are going to take telegram and in our action we are going to take YouTube in this workflow and we want that as soon as a new video will be shared on our telegram group automatically the same video should be uploaded on our youtube channel here we can find that action is the response towards our trigger so let's start creating this workflow step by step first of all we will select our trigger application and that is telegram so let's select telegram bot over here and now we will select our trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So we are going to select set webhook watch updates as our trigger event over here to capture the response. Let's click on connect. And now from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with my Telegram bot account. Now here in order to build a connection, we will first have to provide a token. In order to understand from where we have to find our token, I'm going to take you towards my Telegram account. And here after coming on our Telegram account, we have to search for bot father. So I've already searched that. And now we have to start a conversation with the bot father. Okay. So we have to type slash new bot over here in order to create a new bot. So we have sent the message, all right, a new bot. How are we going to call it? So we have to provide a name to our bot, okay? So let me provide a name, let's say, new telegram videos. Now it is saying, good. Now let's choose a username for your bot. So we also have to provide a username. So I'm going to keep the same username, okay? And at last I will just put an underscore and I will write bot over here. So this is the name of our bot, okay? We will send it and the name is finalized and it has provided us the token. So in this way, we have to find our token. Okay, so we will simply copy the token and we will paste it over here in Pabli Connect. Okay, done. In the same manner, you have to find the token. Let's click on save. And with this, our Telegram bot account is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. Now we will click on save and send test request button. But before that, we have to do one more thing. We have to create a new group over here in which we are going to send the videos. And then we have to add this bot which we have recently created into that group. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new group new group. And now I'm going to add the bot which we have recently created. The name of the bot is new Telegram videos. So this is the bot, we will select it and now we have created the group. So I'm going to name this group as new telegram videos and we have added our bot in this group. Now we will create it. Okay. 
so this is my new group okay so in this group we have two members the host the owner of the group that is me and the telegram bot which i have recently created now we have to provide the rights to this bot in order to send the videos and for that what we are going to do we are simply going to provide the admin right to this particular bot and that can be done with the help of telegram mobile app so i'm just going to provide the admin right to this particular bot and now as i have provided the right it is showing admin over here okay now our work is done so we will go back towards public connect and now we'll click on save and send test request it is showing waiting for response that means now we have to do a test submission by sending a new video on our group so here i'm going to send a video from my mobile telegram application along with a caption and as soon as i will send a video over here in this group the response will be captured over here here i have sent the video through my phone with a caption as demo video and now as we have sent the video we will go back towards public connect and we have already received the response over here the new video okay so here are all the details related to the video that the name of the group new telegram videos the chat ids along with the details of the video that is the caption is also given over here as demo video okay so because we have received this response that means we have successfully built an integration between public connect and our telegram account so we will move further and now by using the same response we are going to upload this video on our youtube channel now because we have set up this integration anytime a new video will be uploaded here in our telegram group along with the caption the response of that video will be captured automatically over here in public connect okay so before moving further and uploading this video on our youtube channel we will first have to fetch out the link of the video which we have recently sent on telegram because we have not received the link of the video from our telegram response so for that what we are going to do we will add one more action step over here and in our action application we will simply select telegram bot again and in the action event we will select get file okay here we are going to get the file with the help of the id which we have received let's click on connect and now i'm going to go with the existing connection only as we have already built the connection after building the connection we have to provide the id of the file as we will provide the id and we will click on save and send test request it is going to provide us with the file path by using which we have to create the file link in order to share the same link on youtube so first of all let us enter the file id over here we have received the file id from our earlier response so we are simply going to map the data over here now what is mapping mapping is inserting the data from previous step so here is our previous step that is telegram bot when we will select that we can find all the details related to the video which we have received from our earlier response so from these details we have to map this file id message video file id here in this field okay now why i have mapped this id instead of entering it manually because i want that whenever i will upload a new video on my telegram group and the response of that video will be captured here in public connect then automatically this file id should get replaced with a new id of that new file but in case if we will enter it manually then it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response therefore in order to automate the entire process we have mapped the id okay now let's click on save and send test request and here we have received the response along with the response we have also received the file path which we have to use in order to create a link of the video okay okay so now by using this we are going to move further and we are going to add one more action step over here and that is going to be uploading the file on youtube so we will search youtube over here in our action application and now we will select our action event and that is going to be upload video okay let's click on connect and now because i have already built a connection with my youtube account here i am going to continue with my existing connection if you want to create a new connection you can also click on this add new connection button now we'll click on save and here after building the connection successfully we have to enter the details in these fields first of all it is asking us the channel id so this is my channel with the name as demo channel and we are going to select the same channel id there also so here our channel id is selected correct demo channel now we will move further the next thing which it is asking us is the video title so in the response we have received the title of the video in the caption so we are going to map the same title over here we will search for the caption and this is the title of the video demo video okay because we have not received any description from the telegram response and it is a required field therefore here i am going to map the title only as the description okay so again i am going to search for caption and i have mapped the title okay done the next and the important thing is the video url so here we have to provide the video url now from where we are going to find that we will first have to create the url with the help of our earlier response so here i am going to take you towards my earlier response and we can find that the instructions to create the link is given over here the file then can be downloaded by the link the link is given over here so we have to copy this link and paste it in the field first of all let us do that 
and then again we will go towards our previous step the next which we have to enter is the token which we have got from telegram okay so we will go back towards our telegram account and here we will go towards bot father and this is the token which it has provided to us so we will simply copy it and we will paste it here in this field okay so we have pasted the token and the next thing which we have to do is that after entering the token put a slash and then we have to enter the file path so this is the file path now we have to map this so we will again go towards our action step that is on youtube and here we will simply enter a slash and now i am going to map the file path okay so i have created the link successfully so this is the url which we are going to share on our youtube channel okay for sharing the video so in the same manner we have to enter the url of the video we first have to enter the link which telegram has provided us then we have to enter the bot token and at last we have to enter a slash and then we have to enter the file path okay now because in this video url i have mapped the file path it is going to be replaced with each and every response but whatever data i have entered manually is going to be same every time okay now we will move further and the next thing which we have to do is we have to provide the category id it is given in the instructions that in order to provide the category id for your video you have to add one more action step in between and that is list video categories so we will simply add one more action step over here and now we are going to again search for youtube as our action application and in the action event we have to select list video categories okay let's click on connect and we'll go with the existing connection only and here we have to provide the country code so as i live in india here i am going to provide the country code of india that is in and we'll click on save and send test request it has provided us all the category ids for different categories of video or channel so let's suppose if your channel is based on film and animation you have to use the category id as one if your channel is based on auto and vehicles then you have to use two then again if your category of the channel is music then you have to use id 10 in the same manner because my channel here is on the category as people and blog i am going to use the category id as 22 so either i can map it but because it is going to be same every time i am simply going to copy it and paste it over here in this field okay done so after doing this we will simply click on save and send test request and here we can find that we have received the response along with the response we have also received the id of the video which is recently uploaded on our youtube channel so let's go and check on our youtube channel whether a video is uploaded there or not so this is my channel and here in the content section i am going to refresh this page once and we can find that yes automatically without any efforts a demo video is uploaded over here with the title and the caption as demo video because i have used the same over here so this means that we have successfully built an integration between telegram and youtube and now whenever a new video will be shared on our telegram group automatically the same video will also be shared here on our youtube channel so we'll go back on public connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow So we have taken four simple steps over here trigger and three actions in trigger we have taken telegram bot and again in actions we have taken telegram youtube and again the youtube and then we have connected all of them by using public connect in such a way that now whenever a new video will be uploaded on our telegram group automatically the same video will also be uploaded on our youtube channel in between we have also used some other actions such as telegram bot for getting the file details that is the link and the file path of our video and then we have used a list category steps so that we can find the category id of our channel okay so in the same manner by following the same steps you can very easily create this automation and this is going to enable you to automatically share your telegram videos on your youtube channel so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching Not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabbly Connect. Now if you have any doubt you can directly reach out to us at support@pabbly.com. If you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabbly.com and if you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.